Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and this time it's a Copic drawing. I didn't really know what I wanted to do for this drawing. Uh, I just took a sketch that I made in one of my sketchbooks a while ago and I kind of like the pose and the expression of the character so I decided to go off of that. And honestly, this is a really, really random concept. Like, I don't really understand why I drew this. I just wanted to draw something with Copics. I just really, really wanted to, to work with my Copics because I haven't uh, used my Copics in a really long time. So I wanted to do something to do with my Copics. So I just drew this girl. She's holding a basket with apples in it. She's, like, in a forest wearing a random outfit. It's just a really, really random drawing. I didn't really do it for any particular reason, but I... Just, I just really wanted to use my Copics, and I'm not really happy with how it turned out. I just, there's just something about it. It just seems really, I don't really like the composition that much, but I do like uh, the way I colored certain things, and it was really fun to do. I, I always enjoy working with my Copics. They just are such a joy to work with. I really love um, using my Copics to color green things, too, so that's why I did a lot of bushes in this drawing. I did a lot of trees as well. And of course, I prefer the sketch to the colored drawing because that is the that is always the way I feel whenever I do a traditional drawing like this. I always like the way the sketch turned out way better than the final drawing. I should just do like a like a full pencil drawing um, instead of using something instead of actually coloring it. I should just do something in black and white because I always like the way the sketches look. But I know a lot of artists have this problem where they make their sketch and then when they're finished with the drawing they like their sketch a lot better than the way they decided to color everything and the way that the line art turned out compared to the sketch. It's just the sketches always look so much more interesting and they just look better to me whenever I do them compared to the colored version. It just always looks better to me. I feel like I always do backgrounds like this with like the big leaves and just like, I don't know, I have a lot of go-to background elements when it comes to using like my Copics or pencil crayons and I don't want to have go-to backgrounds, like I want to do different backgrounds each time, but this was just for fun just to use my Copics, so I hope I can think of some more original concepts when it comes to traditional stuff because I feel like I'm more creative when I'm doing my digital drawings and whenever I do traditional things, they're really, really generic. So I want to somehow break out of that, but I'm not sure how. I just, maybe I'll draw something digitally and then and then print it out and make it with paints or Copics or watercolor or pencil crayon or something like that. I find I'm always rotating mediums. Like, after I'm finished this Copic one, I'm, I really want to do a digital drawing now. And after I do a whole bunch of digital drawing, I'm like, okay, let's do some watercolor. Like, I'm always rotating mediums because I get bored of one and I move to the next one and it just goes in a cycle like that. I think that's a good thing though that I can always like move on to something else if the previous um, way of drawing things I found to be boring I have something else I can do like I can switch mediums so I think that's a good thing to have. I don't really have a lot to say about this drawing like I said there's not really a concept behind it and the only thing that I would have to say about this is that I wanted the whole drawing to be very neutral looking and I wanted one apple in the basket to be a pop of red, but that did not end up happening. Maybe I'll try this concept again later, but I wanted the background to be very light and very neutral and very toned down, but it did not work out that way. I guess I forgot about that. I also ran out of that really light brown you saw me using and I don't have a lot of light browns like that, so I was really limited to the lightness of colors I could do for the trees because I wanted to color the trees brown and I wanted them to be really light initially but I ran out of that color so I couldn't make them as light as I wanted them to be. I ended up lightening them with pastels afterwards which worked out pretty okay because the trees were too dark to be in the background like they were way too dark and I wanted to lighten them and make them look a little bit more bluish because that's what you do when things are more in the distance. But I did have a lot of fun coloring this whole thing and had a lot of fun with the Copics and just I always have fun at first with big drawings like this and once it gets to the end I'm like oh my gosh can I just finish this and then I start getting sloppy with things and just it's not as fun at the end as it is in the beginning it always works out that way though so I hope you enjoy seeing this whole this whole speed paint time lapse drawing the whole process for this I don't really have anything else to say about it because it's not there's not really much to this drawing so I hope you will enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.